God has decided to let me live another day and I've decided to make it everyone's problem. This light is currently on because I am very sad. This light makes me happy. Um, I use this light a lot when I got high in college. Wow, fun fact about me. So here's a story all about, how my life got flipped, turned upside down. about today. Today I did my makeup and got ready and started doing a video. And then my cat was dramatic and an idiot baby. And ate a plant he wasn't supposed to. And then he got a stomach ache. But then he was really dramatic and we got really scared. So we took him to urgent care where we paid almost $400. <laughs> I'm losing my will to live. Now the sun's gone. Video's gonna look like horse shit now. Uh, no, I'm probably just gonna finish it tomorrow. I just like, this fucking sucks, guys. Like, sucks. I'm complaining. My cat's alive, though. I'm not complaining. I take it all back. I love my cat. I'm so happy he's alive and he feels better. Be cool if he didn't eat things that want to kill him, though. Uh, so yeah. For the today's video... So for today's video, I'm going to be drawing. Same shebang, same boring stuff I used last time, but better this time, because if it's not better this time, you will never hear from me again. <laughs> All right, let's get into the video. Is this an intro? So the goal for this spread was to absolutely 100% create something that I enjoyed. I didn't care how long it took or how much effort I needed to put into it. I knew I just needed to like it. So I sketched the whole spread out before I did anything to make sure everything was ready to go and then I got into it, I guess. I was tired by my limited color palette in my markers, so I decided to just go gung-ho with my gouache. These gouache paints are super cheap though, so I did struggle a little bit with it not being very opaque, but that's okay, I worked through it. So how is everyone's lives doing? Mine feels like it's in shambles because I'm living out of boxes, if you were wondering. I feel like I'm adjusting well, but having to live in the country again is something I didn't expect to be so jarring. Like when my cat got sick, there wasn't a vet within f like 40 minutes of me who would accept him. What? Lived here my whole life, but still struggling somehow. Too spoiled by the city, I guess. The air does smell better. I don't constantly reek of pollution anymore, and that's kind of pleasant. Two years ago, I applied for this art gallery, and this guy that said he would never accept my artwork because it was anime. And I didn't even draw anime when he told me that. It's interesting because when he told me that, I was like, What the fuck are you talking about? Who cares? He wanted me to make artwork that was more capitalistic and would sell to like rich households, I guess. And I've already talked about this, it was like the biggest scam ever, like he got free labor by offering other artists as compensation, basically being like, you're gonna learn so much, all these people are from this prestigious art school, it's like getting multi-million dollars worth of art school for free, uh, whatever. And honestly, he's just exploiting artists who are already in a crap ton of debt for free labor, it's like so clear, and I'm like, dude, what? What is your deal? I mean, he very clearly obviously did that when he was younger as well, and I'm sure it worked better back then. I mean, college wasn't expensive, minimum wage was higher, it was probably easier to work for free a little bit back then. And although Columbus probably wasn't my favorite city in the world, I did learn a lot in that experience. By experience, I mean all the interviews with all the older people who lived around me. Because on one hand, you got an older man who doesn't probably realize he's even exploiting workers because that's how he grew up and that's what he knows and that's what he thinks is correct. And on the other hand, I interviewed with a man who literally hated everything about how things work now. He was raging about how much education was. He talked about how he could afford his marriage, his car, his house, and his college education full time. All when he was in his early 20s by just working part time at a grocery store. Two very different types of people, all right? And this is, this is what opened my eyes. 
very clearly an artist who worked hard versus an artist who kind of was handed a lot of things, it seems. And I got to experience that and I feel very fortunate to have experienced these long conversational interviews I had with older people. Because I have my grandma, but you know, you need like different experiences. I will learn so much just from having two very different perspectives. And I learned that you can accept wisdom where you want, almost. Because I got a lot from the one older gentleman, but I learned a lot from the other one too because I learned what I didn't agree with, and that's just as important. Also, I don't want to completely discredit older generations. They had their problems as well. Trust me, I know, from mental health to identity and accessibility, like, I get it. I'm just generalizing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I won't do that anymore. Well, I probably will because I'm a human being, but I'll try not to. All right, I just went off on a long tangent. Let's get back to my point. And my overarching point is he saw right through me. He knew. He said, this girl, she's going to be a weep one day. She's going to draw anime. I have to warn her. I'm glad I didn't take that job, but what was he talking about? I never drew anime. Shush, shush, okay? I might be different. I might not be fully white, all right? I, just because I'm Asian doesn't mean the art I draw is, is anime, all right, bud? I do draw anime, though, now. I do do that now. It's fun. Um, so, I guess stereotypes are right? Generalizing is correct? <gasps> We broke the code. Take that, libtards. I've been really loving just the hate liberals have been getting as a leftist. <laughs> it just feels like reparations. <laughs> okay, I've been saying a lot of things. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna assume that you guys probably don't know me well enough to know when I'm joking and when I'm not joking. Hmm. You will though, you will, you'll get to know me. All right, you'll figure it out. I'm in the weirdest mood right now, dude. Okay, I just finished my cup of coffee. What do you expect from me? All right, let's talk about this art. Now I'm adding highlights because highlights are so juicy and literally the only reason I draw is to highlight in the end. I'm not even exaggerating. It's my favorite part. I die, live and breathe for highlighting. That goes for my makeup too. It's, it's the best thing in anything you could ever do. Art, your makeup, taking notes, highlighting is the way. And you can check out my highlights on Instagram at Yankish. A fun little slice of life, a fun little behind the scenes if you want. I also have a Discord, all the links will be down below in the description. Now that we're nearing the end of this drawing, I want to get into what I like and what I don't like about it. This is how we learn. I really like the colors I used in this. They're really fun and vibrant, but I didn't go overboard with the vibrancy. Some of the colors are muted and it just makes it feel better to me. One thing is there isn't enough contrast and I really realize that, um, I'll do better next time. It also bothers me how I have that bright pink in the phone, but I don't incorporate that color anywhere else. I wish I had. I also don't think that this is balanced enough. I tried to make it balanced by filling in like the yellow clouds and giving little dot data details, but I don't think it worked out in the end. But overall, I am happy with how it turned out. It makes me feel good, and I love how the waves turned out. Uh, I don't know. I just... I had fun while doing this and that's what matters. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!